someone's here. I just want to turn up the volume. No one's talking to me. I don't need to hear anything. Mm. Hey, Coco, I just saw that you uploaded. Hey, Keto Cowboy and Melody. People are filing in. God, I hate the lighting here. I hate it. Yeah, I literally just saw, like, as I logged in to go live, I'm like, oh, she's posted a video. I love, I mean, I like watching your videos um, Colette for a lot of reasons, but I, because I know that area so well, I, every time you're driving, I'm like, I try to figure out where you are. I try to see like the, like the freeway signs that you're passing and stuff because I'm like, where is Coco driving? I know that area makes me feel like I, I'm like at back home, back in Seattle. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can tell too. I saw one day you were driving and I saw Cold Creek Parkway and I was like, yep, yep. The good old days, the good old days. Oh, the fridge. Oh God. <laughs> Do we want to start with that? Um, so somebody was supposed to come. Yes. Okay. So someone came last week. I think you guys heard about this in a, in a, what I eat in a day. Someone came last week. He was here for like a half an hour and he needed to order. We thought it was only one part. Apparently it was two parts. So he was supposed to come back on Friday. He came on Monday. He was supposed to come Friday. The second part didn't come. So then they had to push it till Monday. Um, no, until Tuesday, which was yesterday. I think I get my day mixed up. They had to push it to yes. Yeah, it was yesterday because I had to take Daisy to camp. Um, and they didn't end up coming yesterday. They didn't have um, time. Uh, they didn't have time to come. So the whatever job he had in the morning took way too long. And so now the only, like the next available time slot for a morning slot is Monday. Although we did get, I know, I know. I, although we did get, um, a little bit more clarification about our warranty. So again, I, I, I've mentioned this before, like we did not buy this fridge, which is the main reason why it's like my dream fridge, because it's an expensive fridge and it came with the house uh, when we bought it. And while it is still under warranty, we don't have any proof of purchase. So um, we, we asked about them reimbursing for groceries because y'all know that whole you know, that came with the whole thing. Yay, Morgan's here. Um, so they can't reimburse for groceries because to reimburse for groceries, they only do it one time and you need a proof of purchase. So it's like, fine. But apparently they said that, this is all via Cernan, of course. They said that from the first time that they were out, that piece that was fixed, I guess that piece is actually fixed and it's just been like other problem after other problem. That was it under the 10 year warranty. Everything else. Oh, Aaron's here too. Everyone is here. Um, everything else is only covered for a year. So essentially they told certain like in a nice way, they said, like, you're lucky that we're even coming out to fix all of these other problems. We're kind of doing it as, like, a courtesy thing. Uh, it's still the same deal. If if a, if the repair guy comes and he deems it irreparable, we get a new fridge. So I guess it was good to have clarification. That being said, like, we really can't put up that much more of a fuss because we don't have a proof of purchase. Um, so... <laughs> I'm just so done. Like to the point where I told Cern and I'm like, if we, if we had the money, like if we had money sitting in savings enough to where we could buy a new fridge and still have like a cushion, I would buy a new fridge, but we don't. So we're not. So yeah, Melody, the, for us, the, it's the ice machine that always starts it everything is going swimmingly. And then I go to get ice and water comes out. That's been like three times now where like, that's been the first sign that something's going wrong. And then it's always the 
stuff's not cold enough. It's not warm, but it's not cold enough. You know, you guys have heard it all, but I'm just like, I went through a phase there for a little bit. This is like not even what this video is supposed to be about, but whatever. I went through a phase for a little bit where I'm like, like, okay, like we can do this. <laughs> like, this is a challenge, you know? And I was like getting okay with using the mini fridge and the chest freezer. And it was like, I, I was in the groove. Like I was, you know, whatever. Now, now I'm, now I'm doing, now I'm on like that. That was like this, right? I was like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Now I'm on this end and I'm like, I'm done, done. Uh, yeah, it's an LG uh, fridge. And <clears throat> I've mentioned this before too, but when the first guy came to look at it, he was like, oh, he was like, it's an LG. Like LGs are, according to him, LGs and Samsung, LG refrigerators and Samsung refrigerators or appliances are what he, oh, really, you like your Samsung. He said those ones are the ones that he fixes the most. My parents have a Samsung. They got like a Samsung package and they hate it. Everything has been bad. Their oven already went kaput and it's only like two years old. He said, Whirlpool, Kenmore. And there was another one. Whirlpool, Kenmore and Maytag are really, really, really good. Um, so you yeah, know, it's just, it's just another week, another week, seven days without a fridge. Like I, I was trying to, I mentioned in my video that I posted today that I just been like all over the place. I just, I just feel I've been really stressed. I've been having anxiety with the whole earthquake thing. And, um, I've just been my mind has just, I've just not felt really like myself. And that kind of has had led me to think that maybe I was also in a, like, um, I just felt like I was in a creative rut or something, but I was like, I'm happy with all the videos that I'm putting out. Like I'm happy with my content. I, I'm, I'm happy with the quality. Like I'm, I feel like I'm in a real like swing of things when it comes to YouTube in terms of like hauls, what I eat in a day's random Friday video. Like I feel really good. So I'm like, it's not a YouTube rut. What the F is it? <laughs> like I was trying to figure out why do I feel so like, and it's because I'm in a cooking rut. I am in a cooking rut. I, I, I actually had this in the video that I posted today, but I had to cut it because that video was already like 30 minutes long, like the length of a TV episode, <laughs> like this way too long. Um, I'm in a cooking rut because I you know, I've said it before. I can only meal prep certain things. I can only cook certain things because I don't have the space. It, I can't just bust open a cookbook or like make a random recipe. Like I'm not inspired because I know I'm not going to have room to, to keep all the shit in there. So that is like the main reason at this point, it's not even an inconvenience factor at this point. For me, it's a, like, I am going crazy eating like the same things not having room to meal prep what I want to meal prep. Like I creatively, I need my, my, my creative, the creative part of my brain. I need my refrigerator to be fixed. <sighs> yeah. Keto cowboy GE. I, we had a GE for a while. We've had um, Kenmore. We've never had issues with those. It's just so pretty. And it's so nice. And like, I would never, I shouldn't say I would never Like, if I was loaded, I would spend that much on a fridge, but like, there's no, like, if we have to go buy a new fridge, we can't, we can't replace this one with the exact same model. Um, it's just, and the storage, and I love that it has the freezer drawer and the fridge drawer. <sighs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't, it's not like a, like a, like, oh, it see, it is so hard to, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm going crazy. It's not like a recipe, like I'm in a recipe rut. Like I have so many keto cookbooks over there that I want to like bust into and start cooking out of. I want to start filming that stuff. I want to start filming recipes, filming more meal preps. I love Pinterest. I'm on there all the time. I have like my handful of keto bloggers that I love going to their websites and looking for all the keto recipes I can find. 
My thing is, is that I don't want to do that because I can't keep stuff anywhere. Like the mini fridge is stuffed to the brim and it doesn't even have meal prepped lunches in it because all of that stuff is in the freezer. Like that's kind of my thing is I don't have the wiggle room to be like, I'm going to make this this week and I can buy any refrigerated vegetables I need because I don't have the space to keep that stuff in there. I'm <laughs> getting worked up. Um, yeah, Morgan, that's it. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's, it's, Trust me, I am a recipe, what's a good word, <laughs> junkie. Um, I love recipes and I have so been wanting to use, I have so many keto, I have the Keto Connect cookbook, I have Wicked Keto, I have Keto Comfort Foods, um, and I don't cook out of them as often as I want and I so want to do that. It's just, I, I can't, like I... Like when I make my list every week, I have to literally, I make my list first and then I go down it to make sure there's not too many refrigerated items. I log in my head what needs to be refrigerated, then think to myself, is there enough room in there? I clean it out every week just in case. And then I go back to the drawing board if, if need be. Um, oh, Keto Floof is here. Hey. I know it's, and, and again, like it's, it's first world problems. It's a problem I am dealing with and I'm experiencing. So I'm a vent about it. I'm not going to be like, it's first world problems. I'm not going to talk about it. Like, no, I'm going to talk about it, but I got a roof over my head. I have a fridge. It's not a full size fridge, but it's a fridge. Oh my God. The lighting in here is driving me insane. Um, and the freezer, you know, does what it needs to do. Hold on. I'm going to turn this light on because this is driving me crazy. Um, so anyways, that's just that it's, it's, it's frustrating. I want to get, okay. Craveable keto. I'll have to look, look for that. I want to get the Southern keto cookbook. That is like on my list. Hold on guys. get as much light light in here as possible um okay let's get oh you've got to be freaking kidding me if the pioneer woman is coming out with a keto cookbook i will literally die. i will literally go to barnes and noble and wait in line i love the pioneer woman i have every single cookbook she has ever come out with lined up in my kitchen Oh, if she comes out with a keto cookbook, I will, I don't know what I'll do, but I love her. I love her. When we weren't eating keto, I would cook out of her cookbooks, but I would only make her recipes like once a week because I knew how like terrible they were for you. Um, Mm-hmm. I know. I feel like I've been watching her forever. Okay. Let's get into what this um, video is actually about because I feel like when I'm doing lives, the time is just like fleeting. Okay. So, oh my God, Erlen, are you serious? Oh my God. This is like life-changing news. I cannot wait. I'm pre-ordering that. I am pre-ordering that. Okay. Oh. Now I feel like I need to change the title of this live. It needs to be like <laughs> announcement. Excitement over <laughs> the Pioneer Woman Keto Cookbook. That is nuts and I cannot, I literally cannot wait. Okay. I need to stop reading the chat and I need to focus and, um, talk about what this is actually about. So Daisy is in camp all week. Oh my God. It has been a dream. Um, she also slept over at my mother-in-law's last night, which was just awesome. So today I, I had mentioned in my grocery haul that I needed to go to world market because I wanted to get pork rinds since I found out the max have a bunch of 
stuff in it that I just personally don't want to be eating. And that I wanted to see that I went when I was at Walmart, I was looking for the Waterloo and they didn't have it. So I was going to check out other, uh, places where I can get Waterloo. So let's go ahead. This guys, this haul is very random and it's not like super exciting. I just thought like, I actually filmed this in my car today on my phone and I was just going to upload it as like a bonus video. And then I thought, why don't you just go live and show them live? So anyways, it's nothing insane, but it's like keto stuff. I also went to Ulta. So I thought I could just show you what I got there. Like it's, it's just a random little, little haul, but I feel like with the chat and stuff, um, it makes it a little bit more exciting. Um, okay. So I went to Ralph's, which is like a local, I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't think Ralph's is just California. Maybe it's like West coast. It's like, you know, Kroger, Vons, Safeway. It's like all of those stores. When I go into those stores, I feel, I feel like a fish out of water. I never shop at those stores ever just because I have so many other options around me. Uh, and I find those stores to be usually to be pricey, pricier than like Walmart or target. I just don't shop there. Um, we have a Vons near us. So like every now and then if I need like a bottle of wine or I don't know, like Cerna needs soda. Oh, Lindsay's here. Hey Lindsay. Um, we'll run up to Vons, but other than that, like I never step foot in there. So I was just like, <laughs> like a kid in a candy store. And it's also completely different when you're not, when you're a not on a time crunch and B do not have a two and a half year old with you. So I just went up and down every aisle. I didn't get much, but I, I, it was fun to just like look and see what they had because I never get to see oh my God, y'all, this lighting is driving me crazy. I just never get to see what's at like the actual grocery store. Cause I never go there. So, um, they did not have Waterloo. Well, that's a lie. They had Waterloo, but my whole, like my whole point. Oh, and Natalia's here. Hey, Natalia. Um, they had Waterloo, but they had the three flavors that come in the Costco flat. And I wanted to try new flavors. So that was a complete bust. So I just ended up getting another pack of LaCroix. I only have two coconut ones left from the haul that I did on Sunday. So I just got, um, the key lime LaCroix. If you haven't had this one, it is different than the lime. This one actually, it tastes like a key lime pie. So it, I want to say it tastes sweeter, but it's obviously it's sparkling water. It doesn't have sugar in it, but it tastes, it's like, it just has a little bit more of a sweeter lime flavor than like a crisp, refreshing lime flavor. I really, really like it. And I don't ever really see this one that often, so I picked it up. But I am bummed that they didn't have other flavors of Waterloo because I really want to try them. Um, okay, then I picked up this. This is the Boda Mini Dry Rosé. So tonight I am going to Bunko. I play Bunko once a month with my mom and all of her friends because I am a really cool daughter. <laughs> and normally it's at my mom's house and she always will buy me like wine or I don't know, whatever I want. Well, it's usually wine, whatever I want to drink, but it's at someone else's house this month. So I picked this up. This was on sale for five 99, which is kind of like for me, I get like a whole bottle of wine at Trader Joe's for like six 99. So five 99 for this thing, it says it's three, like five and a half ounce glasses. So, um, I mean, I guess that's like decent. I wasn't going to buy an entire bottle of wine and, and take it. So this is like perfect. Picked up that. Then this is okay. This is random. Yeah. Erlen, have you never, have you never seen this before? This is, and this is like the small one. They, this Boda, um, brand is, this is the Boda mini, but the Boda box is like an actual box. Like the, um, Franzia, uh, but it's like legit, like Franzia is like juice. Um, the Boda is like legit wine. Uh, you have this in the fridge, Melody? Is Waterloo better than LaCroix? So I, I don't necessarily think it's a better than LaCroix. I think it's different. It's, 
It tastes more carbonated to me and the bubbles are smaller. I have no idea if that makes sense, any sense, but um, like Cernan loves, I've said he loves soda. Like he, he is a soda drinker. And when he tried Waterloo for the first time, he's like, I think I might be able to switch to this because the carbonation was a lot similar to soda in his um, mind. Oh, that's smart, Coco. That's smart. Oh, the key lime LaCroix. Um, yeah, that's really smart. I do need to do that. We'll talk a little bit more about Waterloo when we get to um, World Market. But yeah, they're they're similar. They're both sparkling waters, but there's something. The Waterloo, it says on the can, it's like vapor. They use like vapor distilled water and then it's like triple something. I don't know something with their carbonation process where the bubbles are different than LaCroix. And I'm like a, y'all know, I'm a sparkling water, like crazy person. So I want to try everything. Okay. Then I picked up the sun. This is actually a good one. So I got him some Zevia. I know, I feel like people love this or hate this. Um, they had, they actually had a decent amount of flavors for being like a Ralph's and not a Sprouts or a Whole Foods. I feel like Sprouts and Whole Foods always have like 10 to 15 different flavors. Ralph's had like seven and I asked, asked certain which one he wanted. He said ginger ale. So that's the one that I got. These were $3.99. $3.99 for Zevia is crazy. Um, at Sprouts, they're usually $6.99. Whole Foods are usually like five ninety nine, um, so three ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't blame you, um, Natalia, because it, especially if you are like a hardcore soda, <laughs> a hardcore soda drinker, to switch to this, um, especially if it's not for like diet purposes. You know, if if it's not something where like you're doing keto and you need something. Um, with stevia, not something that has like a bunch of sugar in it. I can totally get where you would be um, put off by the taste of this. Um, uh, for me, I I like it. I love certain flavors over over other flavors. But three ninety nine. Oh, Katie's here. Hey, Katie. Three ninety nine for this is crazy. So I got that, and then the last thing I got at Ralph's, which was very random, but I needed it. Uh, was deodorant. So I, the last like year or so I've really, Oh, Aaron, thank you for telling me that. I'm going to keep my receipt so I can put that in my, um, Ibotta, Ibotta, however you say it. Um, the last year or so I have been like, I've been using aerosol deodorants. I never used them before and I don't know what the heck was wrong with me that I never tried them before. Um, but I started using them and the last one that I bought was degree. I think I've tried the secret one, the degree, and then the dove and the degree one was by far the worst. It just after a while, and by a while, I don't mean like a long time. I mean like there was still stuff in it. Uh, it just completely stopped like coming out with anything. <laughs> like you put it on and like nothing would come out. It like essentially just was not doing the job. So I don't even, I might have thrown it in my empties bin or maybe I threw it away. I don't know, but I needed deodorant. So I just went back to Old Reliable. <sighs> this is like, I said, I said, think I said in a previous video, it's like, you know, oh, Erica's here. Hey, spending money on deodorant for me, you know, cause we budget and stuff. And this is like spending money on new underwear. Like, do I need it? Yeah. Uh, do I want to spend six fifty on this? No. So it was kind of like, cause there was, there was like another brand. I don't remember what it was next to it. That was cheaper, but I was like, I'm not risking it. I'm not, I'm not going to risk it and then, um, have it not work. Okay. Let me get caught up. Let me just finish watching your Holland. We enjoyed it. That granola though. 
I know, I know that granola, you guys, if you saw today's video, I have to go back and get some. My mom just portioned some out for me in like a Ziploc to take home so that I could have. And it, it is so good and it is crunchy, crunchy. And that's, Aaron had brought that up to me in a comment um, on that video about how the lollies is like soft. And I'm like, yes, that is what you guys like. I remember Nacine saying that, how it wasn't like traditional granola. It was a lot softer. Y'all, this stuff is crunchy. And there was somebody in the chat, the last chat that I did, or last live stream that I did, who said they had tried something from Julian Bakery, like a bar or a cookie or something like that. Um, but it's really cool that it's local and um, that it's good. Now I want to try all their other stuff. They have bars, they have chocolate, they have cookie, like protein cookies. I almost brought, bought a protein cookie, but didn't want to shocking. Didn't want to spend the money. Um, yeah, Erica, this granola was like crunch city. It's so good. Um, I have not tried Grapau. I have not, I have seen it, but I haven't tried it. Um, yeah, Morgan, if you like Dove stuff, this one, oh, Jesus, this one is in sheer cool. This is the scent that I got last, the last time that I bought it. And I, I really like it. Um, Aaron loves buying new underwear. <laughs> that just proves that theory then I guess, right? Think of something else that you have to buy, but you don't want to spend money on it. I had to switch to, oh, that's interesting. Lindsay, you had to switch to degree. And that's the thing, like I used secret clinical forever, forever. Like the twist up one where like the, like cream would come out. I used that one for so long and I loved it and it worked really, really well. Um, I, you know, it's all about like body chemistry and stuff like that. But I just think switching to an aerosol, like different brands are going to work and not work. And the secret one did not work for me. Secret or degree. I mean, the secret one was okay. The degree, like I said, was terrible, but the dove by far is, has been the best. Um, does my mom do keto? So my mom does plant-based keto. She, I, 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 I roll my eyes. Like I, I'm like, Ooh, she just, but that's like, that's not what I mean. The reason I'm rolling my eyes is because, um, she's kind of like on the, on the wagon, off the wagon, on the wagon, off the wagon. Um, but she is, she essentially does plant-based keto most of, of the time, but she frequently eats things that, that wouldn't be considered like keto friendly. Um, guys, I'm going to be wasting all of my money on sparkling water. Katie says, I heard you mention you need extra carbonation in your sparkling water. Have you tried the Kirkland brand? blows LaCroix out of the water. No, I have not. Is it, does it come cans or bottles, Katie? So I can look for it next time I'm there. Oh, was there coconut in that, Erica? Which, what flavor did you try? Cause they have the peanut butter one, which is the one I, I tried. And then they had a cinnamon vanilla. I didn't feel like I tasted coconut in that. And y'all know I love coconut, so. Yeah, laundry detergent is no fun either. Cans, okay. Okay, well, maybe we'll have to try that now, too. I really, my goal is to get Cernan off of, like, any type of, like, <laughs> Not that I don't want him drinking Zevia, but it's like, can you just drink like, although in his defense, he drinks, he's so much better at drinking water than, than I like water, water, like regular water than I am. All right. Well, I'll have to check that out then. Okay. We're going to move on to the next thing in a hot minute, but by the by, I like, just a couple days ago, finally opened up the mixed berry sweet leaf water enhancer drops. Um, I love the tropical one and just hadn't gone around to opening the mixed berry. The mixed berry is so good and it's not, um, it's not cough syrupy. It's like, for me, the main flavor that comes through is like a blueberry. It's really, really, really good. Okay. Since we just talked about deodorant, Let's move on to what I got at Ulta. 
again, nothing like out of control. Cotton balls. I ran out of cotton balls a couple days ago. Um, I use it for my toner after I wash my face and I hadn't been using my toner because I didn't have any more cotton balls and holy cannoli. I didn't realize what the toner had been doing. Like I knew it was, I like how it kind of tightens everything. I like how it makes my face feel. But the last couple of days when I've been putting on my highlighter, I can like see all of my pores in here. And that, that, that is that, no, I don't, I don't like that. So I needed more cotton balls so we could take care of the pore situation. Um, oh, Katie, you missed the, you missed the fridge updates. Here's the Cliff Notes version. It's still broken. They missed their window to come yesterday to fix it. So somebody's coming Monday. Everyone else, oh, I, I talked about this for like the first like 15 minutes. Um, it's just, it's very, de it's very depressing. Uh, okay, then I picked up razors. I didn't even know Ulta sold, Ulta, Ulta <laughs> sold words, Ashley. Sold razors, but they had these. These were on, oh, do you guys, does anyone care about prices or is it just me? Um, I had a coupon and so the cotton balls were 164. These, this is a 10 count and these came to 271. I saw these exact same razors when I went to Ralph's because I hit there after I went to Ulta and they were 699. So yes, please. Then no surprise here. Y'all have seen these. If you've watched my empties videos, or any of my like favorites videos, um, not any of them, but a couple favorites videos I mentioned these products. I don't mention them in every favorites video, but this is the um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. I love this stuff. I use shade C4. Only thing I hate is that it's so small. How many ounces is this? 0.14 ounces, and I blow through this. That's why like every empties video, um, has this in it because it's, it's so good. And I just fly through it. Yes, Natalia, you need to, you need to try this. Cause I know you're really into makeup too. Um, it's, I, I can tell you, I got my receipt right here. Um, it's seven bucks, but again, I had a coupon. It was a five off of 25, five off if you spend 25 and they just take it from like each thing that you bought. So it came to five seventy six. Um, but it's really, really good. People say it's a dupe for the shape tape. I've never tried shape tape, so I wouldn't know. Um, but I love it. What shampoo and conditioner do you use? Your hair always looks so healthy. Oh my God. Thank you. Um, I, so I, right now I'm using, I don't have like a ride or die shampoo and conditioner. I'm constantly trying new things because I've yet to find one that like I'm obsessed with, but I'm using dove right now. It's like lavender and I think it's like lavender and rosemary. It's good. I like it. And then I have a really dry scalp. So every other, I wash my hair usually every day, every other day I use, um, the head and shoulders. Re I think it's repair and protect. Um, I like alternate and do that every other. All right. And then the last thing I got at Ulta, my, this is my ride or die, my favorite, um, setting spray. This is the Morphe one. It's the continuous setting mist. And guys, this stuff is so good. If you have been like wanting to try a setting spray, but you're kind of freaked out about spraying stuff on your face right after you just <laughs> put a bunch of makeup on it, this is what you need to use because the like mister on this, should I spray it so you guys can see? It's like the most like thin sheer veil. Do we see that? You can't even, it, I mean, it is like, it's nothing. It smells so good and so fresh. I love this stuff. With my coupon, it was 13, 17. It's normally 16 bucks. Um, highly, 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 highly recommend. I have been using, which it might be in my most recent, um, in my, not most recent, I haven't put it yet, but when I do my next favorites video, I have been using a hard candy one from Walmart that I think was like $4.99. And it's good, but the sprayer is terrible. And that's why I like this because you're not going to get drips and drops all over your face. It is the, like, I want to just do it again. So you get, it's like the, it's like the finest 
it's it says mist and it's mist. It's not a setting spray. It's a setting mist. It's just amazing. Um, okay, now on to probably what you really care about, which is like some keto stuff I got at World Market. So, um, I went to World Market today and they're having a really big sale right now. They, they're not, um, it's not like they have through, put a bunch of stuff on clearance, but they throughout the store, a ton of stuff is 50% off. So, um, I only got, you know, keto food items, but there was a lot of food things that were on sale, but we're talking like everything, furniture, bath stuff, candles, um, coffee cups, you know, um, dinnerware, like anything that you can think of the little like price tag sign things, 50% off, 50% off, ev like everywhere that you turn. So if you are in need of something from world market, go, go now because so much of this stuff is half off. Okay. Let me show you what I got. So y'all know I wanted to get, um, pork rinds after deciding not to get the Mac ones from Walmart. So you had a great world market. Yes. Yeah. Oh, on my Instagram, huh, Erica? Yes. I posted a picture on my Instagram of me pushing, <laughs> pushing my world market cart with my coffee cup where Daisy would normally sit. And I'm like, this is what it's like to shop without a toddler. That store I cannot. I mean, usually she's good in the cart for like 15 minutes and then she has to get out and roam and some stores that's okay. World market is not one of those stores. It was a very nice alone shopping experience, especially world market because I could spend hours in there and no problem. Yes, I did. Yes, I did work it. Just wait, stop spoiling it. So these have already been opened. Um, Erin showed these, um, on her channel recently. And I think Morgan, I think, did you have these in your, I know you did that pork rind video. Did you have these in that? I, I think maybe. So these are the pork clouds in the cinnamon Ceylon. I've never even heard of that word. Um, Pork skin, olive oil, cane sugar, sumi, cinnamon, Ceylon, cinnamon, Ceylon, and salt. Um, there's one carb and a one gram of sugar for a half of an ounce. These are so good. Yeah, Erin, that's like, that's like why I bought them because you were like, as soon as Erin's, you guys, I know Erin and I talk about this all the time, but like, we, we, I think we, our brains like coexist in the same like ether or something because as soon as she pulled these out, it was either as soon as she pulled them out or as soon as she mentioned pork rinds, I was like, if those taste like the Taco Bell ones, <laughs> I'm kidding them. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do taste like the, I mean, they still have a pork rind flavor. Like, let's not kid ourselves. They they still taste like a pork rind. Like, you're not going to put this and then the Taco Bell one and be like, whoa, which was which? Like, these still taste like pork rinds, but they're really good. And they're kind of salty sweet. That's why Stern tried them. And he said that's why he likes them because you get a little bit of salt, a little bit of sweet. Really, really good. And guess what? They're on sale. Uh, they were 2 bucks, and they're normally $2.99, so a dollar off. Yeah. And then these are my favorite. Um, these are actually the only Epic brand pork rinds that I that I have tried. Uh, I love these. These are the chili lime ones. Um, I won't read all the ingredients, but 70 calories, two and a half fat, 11 protein uh, for half of an ounce. I there's nothing funky in here like the Max. No MSG. No dextrose. No maltodextrin. Nothing. I love these. For two reasons. Number one, the flavor is amazing. I'm really into, as you'll see in a minute, I'm really into like chili lime, chili lemon, chili, chili anything with like citrus. But the other reason I really like these is because of the size. I like that these are like smaller pieces. Um, that's just kind of like a personal thing. I, I mean, I'll do it, but like to, to when you pull out a pork rind and it's like this big and then you bite into it and it looks like you just ate like 17 crackers and just didn't care about the crumbs. Like I it's just it's it's just kind of like annoying. 
And so I like that these are, I just feel like they're the perfect, perfect size. And this flavor I love. I've never tried any other flavor in this brand. I do like this, um, certain flavors of the, oh, what is that company? Smart. Southern Recipe Small Batch, I think that's what they're called. Some of the flavors are disgusting, but I really like the cilantro lime and the blackberry habanero. Erin got me got me hooked on those two. I love the blackberry habanero. My mom tried them, and my mom's also kind of like a total health nut um, and definitely not a pork rind eater like normally, but she tried the blackberry habanero, and she was like, it tastes like chemicals. I do not like the spicy dill the Southern Recipe Small Batch Spicy Dill Flavor? No. Bye. No, ma'am. Um, I know, Coco, I need to try the 44505 brand. Um, like, for whatever reason, many people lately have been commenting on my videos when I've been talking about pork rinds or whatever, and they say that they use that brand. Somebody just told me she gets them at Costco. So I need to, I need to try those. Yeah, Aaron, exactly. The blackberry habanero are re like, the, those are my, probably my favorite. I do like the cilantro lime, but blackberry habanero are really good. Okay. So I got both of those pork rinds. So I saw my receipt. Yeah. The Epic ones were, Three ninety nine, yeah, three ninety nine, um, which is fine. Okay, then I got two of these. Um, these are the Field Trip brand meat sticks. I grabbed two. These caught my attention because they said pepperoni seasoned. You know, normally it's like, oh, it's a pepperoni meat stick. These are pepperoni seasoned. So for these, we're looking at 100 calories, 7 fat, 1 carb, 8 protein. Uh, the third ingredient, it's beef and pork, beef, pork, water, and then brown sugar. Again, sue me. I, like, whatever. Um, but I'm excited to try these. I recently had the Chomps jalapeno one. And I think that was one in Nassine's video when she did, I remember her doing her chomps review. She didn't like that one. And I remember like that, like <laughs> staying in my brain because when she first said that they had a jalapeno flavor, I'm like, Oh, I'm so getting that for Cernan because Cernan likes anything spicy. Um, and then she said she didn't care for it, I think, but I really, really liked it. So yes to the jalapeno chomps. And I got that at Walmart, which was kind of surprising. Um, and then I picked up these at World Market, obviously. And then the last thing that I got are these. So these are the World Market brand hot and zesty chili lemon peanuts. Um, Morgan turned me on to the peanuts with tahine that they also sell at World Market, like right next to, the, <laughs> to these. And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me, let me check the macros. The macros are like exactly the same as the other ones quarter of a cup 170 calories 14 fat three net carbs seven protein this bag is now it is chili lemon tahine is like chili lime this bag is almost double the size the tahine one was seven and a half ounces this is 13 ounces and it was a dollar cheaper so i grabbed this one because that's crazy that's crazy double the size and less money um have not opened these, but really looking forward to trying them to see if they, if, I mean, if they're really good, then this is something that I wouldn't mind like frequently buying just because I feel like you get a little bit more bang for your buck where like the tahine ones, like five bucks for like a small bag. Like I'm not going to buy that every week, you know? So that was my little excursion today. It was nice to like go out and take my time and not worry about a child. Um, oh, jungle drums. That's good to know. Did you see the pickled Brussels sprouts? I'm going back Friday to see if they have them. Oh my God, Aaron, though you guys, okay. The company is Pacific pickle works and their stuff is so good. I didn't, I've never seen the Brussels sprouts there. 
Um, the only place in San Diego, San Diego I've seen the Brussels sprouts was at like a specialty grocery store. Um, and they're, they're, I mean, the other stuff is pricey, but they're pricey too. I think they're like eight 99, but I have never had pickled Brussels sprouts in my life. And first my mom had bought them and she was like, you have to try these. And I'm like, that sounds disgusting because to me it, it like a pickled green bean or like asparagus for whatever reason sounds like, okay. But a pickled Brussels sprout just sounds like, mm, I don't know about that. They are so good. The Whatever brine they use, y'all, I'm telling you, if you, they do have a website. They have all of their stuff on their website. They have um, pickled carrots. They have spicy carrots. They have the regular pickles, spicy pickles. I think they do just sell the brine if you just want to buy the brine. Oh, I could talk about it forever. Okay, the chili and salt 4505 have no sugar. Um, yeah, Keto Cowboy, go. Michelle, go. <laughs> Everybody go to World Market. It's so fun to just like poke around, see what they have. They're always stocking new things, always having new stuff. Um, I love their little travel section where they have this like little small cheeses and salamis and olives and there's so much to look at and I like to just go and like flip. I mean, this is what I do everywhere. Flip over anything that looks like it might be keto friendly and look at macros and I just, it's just fun. Um, oh, you did the jalapeno chomps, Lindsay. You didn't like it. Yeah, Erica, I, I've said this multiple times. I, the only chomps I've ever tried are just the regular beef, the regular turkey, and now the jalapeno. And the regular beef to me made me gag. Like I couldn't get it down. I couldn't finish it. The It was like too like mushy. I like the turkey because it has a really good snap to it. And the flavor is on point. Um... Oh, yeah. See, Aaron, they, they have so much. If you go to their website, they have so much cool stuff. Oh guys, I also wanted to show you, hold on. Let me go, let me go, let me go get something. Okay, we're going to talk about syrups for like a second. So, I I mean, I haven't bought syrup in a while because I've been using my sweet leaf um, drops for my coffee, the sweet leaf vanilla ones. Where's my cocktail? I know, but it's only four o'clock. I feel like I need to, <laughs> I feel like I need to wait a little bit longer and I still have to drive to Bunko. So I probably, I'm not going to, maybe I'll have like, no, I'm not going to drink before I go. Okay. Anyways, I haven't been buying syrup because I've been using the, the sweet leaf vanilla drops. Um, but I always buy the sugar-free Tarani because that's just what I like. I like, um, that they have different flavors. I like that they have like 700 choices. I love that when I go to world market, it is like, Oh, like a big wall of Tarani syrup. Uh, this is the Belgian cookie. I do really, it's not like my favorite favorite, but I do really like this one. This is essentially if you've ever had the, um, cookie butter at, from Trader Joe's, excuse me. That's kind of like what this tastes like. Um, so I see everyone buying these skinny syrups, right? Skinny syrups, skinny syrups, home goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Everyone's buying skinny syrups everywhere. Um, and like, like two months ago or so, I was at a home goods and I was looking and they had a ton of skinny syrups. They had a ton of the skinny like um, flavor foam. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should get one of those because they were a lot cheaper. They still had a lot of variety, but I looked at the ingredients and I noticed that they had cellulose gum and xanthan gum in the past. It depends where it is on like the ingredients list, 
but xanthan gum has like mess up, mess with my stomach, like terribly. And so I just thought, I don't know. So I don't have no idea if cellulose gum is even anywhere like comparable to xanthan gum, but I was like, it's a gum and I don't want to risk it. So I, I hadn't bought it. Well, wouldn't you know, yes, was this yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday I was at home goods and they had a ton of Tarani syrups and I don't know why it dawned on me, but I was like, I wonder what's in the Tarani syrup. So I turned over the one at the store and sure enough, there's xanthan gum, like actual xanthan gum, right? The other one had cellulose gum and I was like, oh no, no, not any gum. This has actual xanthan gum and it's far enough down on the ingredients list where it obviously doesn't mess with me, but it's just kind of funny that I was like not wanting to get the Jordan skinny syrup because I'm like, oh, it has a gum in it, even though this has actual xanthan gum. That's such an Ashley like move. Like it's so something that I would do. That being said, I bought one. Um, I got, are you shocked? Are you surprised? I got the coconut, um, the coconut one. So if anyone else is curious, it has water. These are a lot of un unpronounceable things. Acesulfame, potassium, citric acid, acid, sucralose, cellulose gum, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, and then artificial flavors, which like, I don't, y'all know, like I'm not, a, I'm not a huge stickler when it comes to ingredients. Um, but I have not tried this yet. I'm really, really excited. I, duh, you know I love co anything coconut, um, but I've never tried any of their stuff. So I'm, I'm very interested to see like if it's on par with Tarani because Tarani makes a sugar-free coconut syrup and I love it. Um, oh, okay. The, co the coconut skinny is good. Okay, good. I, I, once I have a refrigerator that can hold the Starbucks iced coffee, like container. Um, I'm going to be making my coconut iced coffees because they're so good. Okay. I need to catch up in this chat. Um, oh yay. Aaron gets to go home. Uh, Natalia has her white claw. I, Tried White Claw for the first time, at least what I think is the first time. I don't think I've ever had one before on 4th of July. I mean, I had more than one, but, um, and I know I have been, had been raving about those, the truly sparkling that I got from Costco. I got like the, I was going to say I got like the <laughs> big flat, but it's from Costco. So obviously White Claw is a lot better. I like it a lot better. It's less fake tasting to me. Um, Coco's eating lunch. Um, I like that everyone's like saying what they're doing. Oh, Erica, they're coming out with stevia ones. Erin is this, the skinny syrup queen. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I have zero, you know, I've always been curious about the syrup. I have zero desire to try the foam. Zero. Da Vinci brand. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. No, I have not put it in the coconut flavored coffee yet. It's on, it's on my, it's on my list. It's on my, my to do. Oh, this is it stock or stoke? I never know how to say it. Cause it doesn't have like the line above the O the stock ice coffee or stoke ice coffee. Um, I've been using the instant. I've never tried that stock stock or stuff, whatever that iced coffee. I've never tried that one. I've been using the instant Starbucks blonde rose to make my iced coffee because we don't have room in our fridge. Oh, what? One of the dogs is doing something over there. Ah, that's a great idea. That's a really good idea. Ooh, with sparkling water. That's a great idea, Melody. Everyone is just, see, this is why I like doing, I like doing lives because like stream of, of consciousness like everyone's just like throwing out all their stuff and I can like sit and talk and respond and read and it's just so fun um I do have to go soon though because I gotta get dressed you hopped on the mini egg waffle trend well I want to do it what is that um the Trader Joe's cold brew packs. I've never tried the packs. I've tried the 
like the bigger cold brew, um, you know, that you just like do like, is it, is it 50, 50 you mix with water and the coat, they have coconut cold brew Ooh, it's seasonal. It's so good. Yeah. Keto cowboy. That's the other reason too, is that it's like, um, I don't know if anyone watches, if you watch people that watch makeup channels, but Jen over at Jen loves reviews. She calls her like chat and her, um, her like chat section and her comment section, the collective brain. And I feel like that's such a good, um, like phrase for it because it really is. It's like everyone just like brain dumping, like all of their, um, ideas and, and stuff. Oh, everyone is using mini waffle makers. Okay. Oh, restaurant supply store. That's smart, Michelle. Bye, Erlen. Thanks for stopping by. Erlen is an OG, you guys. I think she was here when I had like 12 subscribers. She's been here for a long time. Um, dang, that sounds good, Coco. Yeah, that sounds really good. I had, I have been ravenous today. I have been so hungry. I think it's because, um, yesterday I stopped eating like at like five, we went to happy hour. And so we went to happy hour at Buffalo wild wings and it was great. It was so good, but I stopped eating. That's a lot earlier for me than normal. And so I woke up so hungry. Um, I, I just did like an egg egg and cheese, uh, omelet inside out omelet thing for, for lunch. Bye Aaron. Thanks for hanging. Oh, uh, intermittent fasting is when I first started it, it was really hard. And I also was like, there's no way I can do this. I know that's like very defeatist, but I used to be such a breakfast person. Uh, I never understood these people that were like, I just can't eat when I first wake up in the morning. Like what? I need food. Like, uh, it was really hard for me when I first, when I first started. Um, I don't know why I struggle so much with late night not eating. Yeah, Erica, you've said that before that you're like, that's not my, that's never my problem. It's always the morning. Yeah, Natalia, that it, breakfast, I mean, I don't know if it's my favorite time, but like I just, I have always been a breakfast person prior to, to fasting. But now that I fast, it's like, I don't even want like, eating in the morning doesn't really appeal to me. Although I am <laughs> going to brunch tomorrow. So tomorrow I will not be intermittent fasting. Thoughts on keto chow. Just order my sample pack. Going to give it a go because I hate meal prepping during my work week. Curious for your thoughts. Would you try it? Um, I, I mean, I would try it if they sent it to me, but to be honest, I like to, Eat. Like I've never been like a protein shake drinker um, or anything. I've never been a big smoothie fan, like, or anything like that. Yeah, ex exactly. Lindsay, I want to like chew and like eat food. Um, I mean, Erin seems to just be like loving. She loves them. Um, so, I mean, if they sent me some, I would, I would try it. Like, I'm very curious. Like, for me, like, when she talks about how she mixes it with, like, butter or, like, oil, I'm like, what the hell is this? You know, like, for me, it's more, like, curiosity. Like, what does it taste like? What does it taste like when you mix it with all these different things? Um, but, but I wouldn't, I personally, there are so many, we know there are so many cool keto foods and snacks and beverages and condiments and sauces. Like I would rather, 
I always think about it like, am I going to be happy if I spend my money on that? Like I would rather spend my money on something else. But I, I know Morgan, didn't you mention that in your video yesterday? The one that you posted last night. Yeah. You said you were going to try, um, keto chow. Yeah. 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 I, I am curious to see like what you think about it. AM is easy for you, Erica, but the night is killing you. Yeah, Melody, do it. Yeah, Michelle, like when I, <laughs> when I like see the foam, when I first saw the foam in that aisle, to me, it looks like soap. Like it looks like hand soap, like foaming hand soap. It's just, I just think it's weird. And I think that one has like a lot more ingredients than the syrup, than the syrups do. You got it, Melody. Just keep it trucking. Mm. Yeah, Morgan, I feel like that's what I would do too. The, the butter, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. I mean, I would be skeptical too. I feel like it's kind of, I mean, isn't it like the only thing like that really on the market? But y'all also know how I am with like ordering stuff. I'm not, I just placed an order for the, um, vitamins. I forget what they're called the care of vitamins, somebody, didn't someone just have that in their video? I don't know. Somebody on Instagram was talking about it and I saw it in someone also in somebody's video. And so I just placed an order and like even placing that order for like vitamins, I was like, Ugh. I don't know why it's so hard for me to spend money. Like, Ugh. I don't know. Sweet Katie. That's awesome. Got it, Colette. The butter makes it more rich, and I like it better than heavy cream. The keto chop for me reminds me of a melted milkshake. I mean, that doesn't sound terrible. Um, I talked in my video that I posted today about that Avite water. Gross. Gross. That stuff is no. Nope. I'm curious how tonight will go because when you play Bunko, whoever's hosting, you know, whoever's house it's at is the one that provides all of the food. Uh, so I never... I never eat the snacks. Like, there's four tables, and at every table there's always, like a bowl of candy and a bowl of like Chex Mix or like whatever. Um, and I, and for, I never touch that stuff obviously, but for like the main meal, like normally my mom hosts. So I always know what she's making or sometimes she like makes me something separate because she knows, um, that I probably can't eat what she's making for everybody else. Um, I have no idea what this person is making. So that'll be interesting. I can't wait for you to take the plunge and try the bones coffee. I know y'all know me. And that's the thing is like, I don't know where this stems from. My mom's like, it's just in your genes, Ashley. It's just like in your DNA. It's how you are. Um, like it's, it has nothing to do with us not having money. Like, it's not like we're, we don't have money. And I'm like, Ooh, we're really going to be like, you know, the wallet's going to be tight if we spend money on that. It's just so hard for me to like bite the bullet. And especially when it's stuff online, I don't like, I don't know. Um, I just don't want to pay for it. Plus I like to chew my food. I'm not a big smoothie. Yeah. That's the same with me, Erica. 
I know you like that bold bean. That's the one in that is in Jacksonville. Oh, bye, Natalia. Yeah, Erin said she did not like the coconut rum one. She's, I said, well, if it doesn't taste like coconut, what does it taste like? And I think she commented back, I don't know. It just kind of tastes like nothing. It tastes weird. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to eat beforehand because I'm not hungry at all. I didn't eat that inside out omelet thing until like two so I think I'm just going to take like stuff that I can just shove in my purse. Like I'll probably take a power crunch bar and some olives, maybe some pork rinds, just so I have something because if I don't have anything and I'm hungry, then I'm just going to eat what she makes keto or not. And I don't want to do that. Um, Ooh, the peanut butter hemp heart cookies. Yum. Yeah, Erica, you've, you've mentioned that before. Spending too much on um, online. Um, I know I'm gonna take pork rinds because those are like good, like snacky things. Ooh, and I'll probably take some of those peanuts too. I just like to have a back, you know, backup stuff just in case. I, I wonder. If I can, I can put a link in the chat, right? I made, let me find it for you guys. I made a buffalo um, coleslaw. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I mentioned it in my grocery haul because I couldn't find blue cheese crumbles and I had to get blue cheese um, dressing. Let me put it in here. Um, guys, if you like buffalo flavor, make that. It's a little bit on the vinegary side. So if, if that's not something you can drive with, then maybe cut back on the vinegar vinegar. Cause it has like a quarter cup of vinegar in it. Um, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. That's what I did for meal prep this week. We did bunless burgers and the Buffalo coleslaw. Um, yeah, Erica, what the heck? What, why, why did they do that? I tried. So you, you had, um, Erica had Instagram messaged me a couple weeks back saying that they got rid of, you know, to do like the keto drink with the, with the white peach tea where you can, um, do the whole, um, no water, you know, four pump sugar free vanilla, no, no sweetener, that whole thing, heavy whipping cream. But they got rid of, those teas and all of the infusions. And I thought maybe like they're going to phase them out. So I think it was like a week and a half or two weeks ago, I went to Starbucks and asked for it. And they were like, yeah, there's like nothing similar that we can make. I know guys, I gotta, I gotta get some of this coffee. Speaking of like appliances, everyone's talking about the Keurig. Okay guys, I got 10 minutes and then I gotta go. I want to get a soda stream. I love my sparkling water. Y'all know, but I love like buying the cans and getting the different flavors and stuff. But I just feel like economically it would just be better to have a soda stream. Oh my God. I love French press coffee. I love French press coffee. There is a place in Seattle that we used to always go to for brunch and they bring you like the French press coffee to your table when you order coffee and you have to wait and then you have to push it down. We used to use a French press all the time. I love French press coffee. Oh, yeah, I, um, you, Erica, you do it with blue cheese all the time, but don't add hot sauce. Cernan, because he had it today for lunch, or no, it was yesterday, yesterday, and it was the first time he had had it, and um, 
I was like, how was it? And he said it was really good, but he wanted like Frank's on top of it. Like he's like, it could have used a little more, a little more buffalo sauce. I was like, okay. Yeah, our, our Keurig is like, I mean, it's not that old, but I just feel like it's kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's going to, like, bite the dust here soon. And we've been talking about getting a um, an espresso. We used to have one, like, years ago, and just didn't end up using it as much, and we ended up selling it, and I think we might get another one. Oh my God. Yeah. Morgan, the coffee and the food in Seattle is just like, oh my God. I, I, we're actually, we're gonna, um, go to Seattle in like September. Um, I, yeah, I, <laughs> Colette, like we're going to be there in September. So um, I would love to meet up and we're staying on the East side. So that would be really, really cool. Um, we really miss it. We really, really miss it. Just, I love everything about Seattle. I love the food. I love the coffee. I love the vibe. I like that there's like the city city. And then there's the East side, the, the, we never lived in like Seattle. We always lived on the East side, but, um, I really miss it. Yeah. Colette, I'll kind of like keep in, keep in touch with you. We're going to come in like the beginning, beginning of September. It's just like the, it's just such a cool, it's such a cool city. You have to like overcastness. I don't even think it's like, you have to like rain. It's like, you have to like it being cloudy all the time. Like I remember when we first moved, it would be like, um, 40 degrees. Like one time it was like 42 degrees and the sun was out and it was like the first year that we were there. And I just remember thinking, I don't even care that it's so cold to me from San Diego, 42 degrees is cold. The sun's out. Like I, I like went shopping and like went for a walk. Like it just took advantage of just the sun existing. Yeah, that uh, one thing that moving to Seattle really taught me coming from somewhere where there's sun like every pretty much every day is uh, to not take the sun for granted. And that, you know, example of like it being 40 and the sun being out and just being so excited, like, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, you, it, it taught me, I mean, here in San Diego, like, I don't even think about what the weather is going to be like. Like, I know I'm going to wear jeans and a shirt and sandals, like, and I know I'm going to be fine. Um, but there, like you, ev whenever the sun is out, it's like, what are we doing today? That's outside. And it's just so, it's so pretty. And, um, I remember one time someone told me like, um, she was saying how she didn't mind the rain because she's like, that's why we have this, you know, like the super green trees and just like the lush, um, like landscape and stuff is because of all the rain. <laughs> yeah. Don't go to downtown Seattle in sandals. I remember, um, when we first were going to move, I, you know, I was like, I'll tell this little story and then I'll hop off. But when we were 
first going to move, that was when we were first talking about it was in 2010. So almost 10 years ago. So I was like 20, like, okay, let's say it was like nine years ago. I don't know. How old was I? 22. I was 22. And I told Cernan, the only way that I'm moving is if we live downtown because I had these like dreams of like living in a high rise apartment. And I just wanted to be like in the action. And I wanted to like go walk down the street and go to Pike's market and get flowers and walk back to my apartment and get a, you know, croissant from like the French bakery. Like I had this whole, you know, image of like what I wanted my life to be like if we were to move. And at that point, like I knew I wanted to move, but we hadn't really settled on anywhere yet. So but his office was in Bellevue and uh, yeah, his office was in Bellevue and he was like, no, he had already been twice. So he's like, no, like, I really think you'll like downtown Bellevue. Like it's, you'll still get a downtown, you know, vibe. Um, and for those that don't know, like Bell downtown Bellevue is just very, you know, it's, it's outside of Seattle. It's very clean. Um, and it, there are high rises and, and restaurants and shops in the mall and everything. Like it's, it's like the, like for me, it was like the perfect experience because it was still downtown, but it wasn't like dirty and like <laughs> kind of overcrowded, like downtown Seattle is anyways, long story short, I kept pushing. No, I want to be in, in Seattle, in Seattle, because also I had never been there. So I was just going off of like what I saw on TV and movies and stuff. And then we actually visited when we decided like, okay, we're going to move. And I was like, yeah, so I don't want to live in downtown Seattle. What was I thinking? Uh, and we lived in downtown Bellevue and I loved it. But I, oh, I had like my whole life planned out. You know, when you're 22, it's just like the world is your oyster and you can do whatever you want. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that we settled, that that's where we settled. <laughs> Yeah, Michelle, that's kind of why we, we were going to do like beginning of August because I have another friend that was good. That's currently like in Idaho and she was going to be in Seattle at the same time, but it just wasn't like dates and times and, um, airfare and stuff wasn't kind of lining up. And so I said, let's just go in September. Cause that's the best time to go. Ugh. Oh, Ashley's here. Ashley, I'm, I'm like just about to wrap this up. Bye, Erica. Let me see what, I'm curious what the humidity is here. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not like, it's probably not anything. Oh, it's 50. So right now it's 76 and it's 57% humidity. But see, we also get a breeze. Um... Oh, well, thank you for popping in, Ashley, and saying, hey. Oh, I hate rain with humidity. No, thanks. You know, what's interesting is when we first moved there, um, somebody told me summer starts on July 5th. They're like, it's always the 5th of July. Like it's crappy, crappy, crappy. And then the 5th of July, the sun's out and it's summer. And for the first like three years or so that we were there, that was true to a T literally July 5th. From then on, it was like rarely any rain, perfect summer weather. And then the, you know, the like, last, you know, half of our time there, it was not like that at all. And I felt like the summers were just really wonky and like kind of unpredictable. Any more product reviews coming up? Uh, no, but I kind of want to, I want to do just for like, I mean, I want you guys to enjoy it too, but something that I have just personally been wanting to do is like getting a bunch of just like random keto friendly foods and snacks and candies and stuff and doing like kind of like a taste test video because I just think that would be really fun for me. 
Um, but in terms of products, no, but I, I have been using that, um, blender cup and, uh, or they call it a portable, portable juicer. It's not a juicer portable blender cup. Daisy's been having smoothies lately because she's completely overeating yogurt and I have a Costco size thing of yogurt and I need her to eat it. So I've been putting it in smoothies and making it in that and it works like a dream. Um, Wyoming is, it's 73 sunny and humidity is 23%. Ooh, 23%. Um, Coco, this is from Target. This Aladdin brand, they sell just these like, you know, they're cheapo, plastic cups. It's, uh, this came in a three pack. They have all different designs and then they sell hot ones too with like the sippy lid and stuff. When I was 22, I was newly married with a five-year-old and pregnant with number two as my hum hubby had just gotten orders to go to Iraq. Oh my goodness, Melody. Oh, thanks, Coco. Yeah, I, I, I really like these. I mean, they're not insulated, which is like the only thing that kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny. Um, that's the only thing I don't like is that it like drips. I'm looking for, uh, I, I mentioned in the video I posted today that I got that Kate Spade, like hot coffee tumbler. Now I want like an iced coffee one that's insulated, but I want one that's cute. I don't want just like a metal, no, there's nothing wrong with those, but I just want something that has like a like design or something on it or words or something. Okay, guys, I have to go. I have to go put some appropriate clothes on. Um, probably use my new deodorant. <laughs> Make sure that I have all of my keto snacks, but more importantly, the wine. Um, oh, I'll have to check that out, Coco. I'll have to, I don't think I've ever looked at Walmart's cups. David's tea. Oh, is that a Canadian thing? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. I will enjoy Bunko. Everyone cross their finger fingers that I win most Bunkos. Most Bunkos is, is 60 bucks. So, all right, friends, I will see you on, I'll have to look that up, Lindsay. I will look up um, David's tea. I will see you guys on Friday. It's part one of my multi-part q and I have no idea how many parts that's going to be because that video has like 160 <laughs> comments on it. Uh, but a lot of questions are like repetitive and the same. So I don't know. I'm thinking it's gonna, probably going to be like two or three videos long, but I will see you on Friday for the Q&A. Thank you for watching this little, little haul. Um, Morgan, I have a q and A. Q &A. I have a, um, like get to know us. Um, video go back it's 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 old it's not old old but it's it's back there um it's it's months old but but yeah there is one there is one up um okay so i gotta go wish me all the luck um and i will i'll chat with y'all later <laughs>